just going towards the Vega sign. I thought we'd just whack that on there, because how good is that? It's just a sign, but you know what? It leaves his legacy, doesn't it? Peggy Sue's, Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, oh my love. To it's world famous, you know, apparently. Well, it's not too warm, like. It's 101 degrees. Okay. And we are in California now. California, yeah. So we've moved from Nevada. We were in uh, well, Nevada. Look. No. Cool. Are you okay? Oh, wow, yeah. That must be an army base then. Over there. Oh well, yeah. Am I allowed to video? Will I get arrested? <laughs> Fifties, Diana. Come on, guys. Four go wild. Put that in the background. Still Route 66, a bit dangerous, we're basically going to get some photographs of this little baby. This is the old Route 66 which is no longer in use, well as the Route 66. Look at over there sir. Route 66, it's just complete derelict land, well apart from these houses. I'm going to go and bring our bottle of champagne in.
got a bottle of champagne. Put it on there, and the one with the tank at the top. It's about three set back. Oh, they're very clever, aren't they? We're just pulling into LA. It's been Manic Road. <laughs> yeah. About eight lanes, most of it, most of the way. We got there though, didn't we? We got there. Should be at the place to pick up the key in about eight five minutes. minutes or so. Oh, yeah, five to eight minutes. And uh, this is our apartment. As we walked in, we were we were greeted with a nice storage cupboard. That's the front door. Nice, um, yeah, nice, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, a nice table. Deb's got the old uh, fridge freezer. She's not happy with some already. I've just got a really a towel on the floor, that's all under the fridge because the fridge must be leaking. Okay, so me and my bro are going to have a little bit of this little beast we found today, uh, sorry the other day. It's Jack Daniel's Tennessee Fire, which we've never seen before, which is good. And here's the living room area, which is really nicely laid out. I have messed that cushion up, so that needs to go there. And then we've got a table and big TV outside of the window it's not the best view but if you can just see that it just sort of goes out onto sort of a roofing top area but there's a there's a pat patio area a small patio area with the seats and a table this is jeff's this is jeff's deb's room which is nice um, again a table and a big chest of drawers um box on the wall there for tv um big sort of walk-in bathroom area which is um quite ample space Big walk-in closet, um, which is good, and also a toilet with shower and bath, 
Um, some storage cupboards. I feel like a real estate, real estate guy. Home's on the armour, so come over here. Jeff's video at the moment, so I have to be quiet. Yeah, yeah. I'll let him narrate. This is the middle of that laundry room. So this is the bathroom. So this is the bedroom here at the moment. Um, so this is me and Pam's room. Um, again, TV and chest of drawers, which is nice. Our view slightly different to the main view, but it looks out to the same sort of area, desk, uh, uh, rooftop area. And then we've got the bathroom, uh, which is quite nice. It's laid out quite nice, straight walking. Shower and bath, which is essential, especially in the heat we've got at the moment, because it's been really warm. Um, and then a nice little toilet, which I've already uh, christened. Yes, um, sprinklers everywhere, so that's good, so we're safe as well. With aircon as well, which uh, sounds nice, and uh, it'll certainly keep us cool tonight. So, that is enough, and I shall... And we're here. I'll say goodbye. So we're home for five goodbye for, for now, and I'm sure we will crack this open in a bar somewhere close. <laughs> so this is our little, this is our little forecourt area. This is our private pool, which is nice. This is jacuzzi over there, but you can't drink beer in either of those. It's a thousand pound fine. Okay. And if you dispute the thousand pound fine, it's a two thousand pound fine. So we're going to go down the stairs now because uh, the girls are desperate for a beer. So we're on level three. So let's just have a pop down. Exactly the same as the staircase in Prague and in Budapest, it's exactly the same staircase. It's so grand, it's incredible. <laughs> right, okay. Right, so we're just we're above a Starbucks, which is this one here, and we're gonna go across to we're gonna go across to spare tire. Spare tires. And this is this is uh, this is Wilshire Boulevard. And there's Wilshire Boulevard, and down there is the Pretty Woman Hotel, about a mile. So we're going to have a little wander down there probably tomorrow or something. We're going to get our bearings there, which is a building site to our left hand side, which is obviously doing some form of improvement. So, anyway, happy days. Okay. Hey, we're walking here. So we're in we're in a place called the uh, spare tire. The spare tire. Yep, seen it, seen it. Yeah, and there's a spare tire on the front there, light, light up. And we've we've ordered our favourite drink, which is two lag Laganitas. Laganitas. Laguitas. Laguitas and yeah. two Stella Belgium 5.2 originals. That, that when me and Jeff tasted them, it was like going back to choose a nightclub. But no more. We've got good vegetation here, from where we've come back from. You did that just because you wanted some water. Stella is 5.2% here. It's like genuine Stella. But yes, we've got water. Yeah, 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 we've got water.
We're going to go into the basement and obviously get the car. And we're going to drive over to Santa Monica Pier. And then we're going to go and have lunch in Jeff and Deb's 25 year old restaurant today. And then we're going to go up to Jeff's, Jeff's back side, or Jeff's backyard, or whatever it was. I used my phone yesterday and uh, it hasn't shown up on the hotel. And there's a car park straight down here. Yes, yeah, Thomas to go down off the pier area. Isn't it? I think it's to the right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she's, a... oh, she? <laughs> she's gorgeous. Uh... So you're gonna get all... I look at ice saying, I think you're gonna get all sorts of. There's black blood in me somewhere. <laughs> Unusual people down here, mate. Good. He's talking to himself. <laughs> More we more smackheads than uh, the ones in San Francisco. Really. Jeff, you can manage people many other way you were. Baby, go straight on, then turn right. Well, I can't believe it, we've arrived at Santa Monica Pier and we're finally here after so many years of dreaming and it's absolutely like red car. It might yeah, it will. It's like record weather. What is that really? It's like 80 degrees, isn't it? So there's a free weather front coming. It's on like a high speed and it's gone to about 25, 25 miles an hour. And it's just come in and literally fogged the whole of uh, Santa Monica Beach area. Which is uh, really bizarre. We'll see what's down here.
Santa Monica, Santa Monica Pier, and I've wanted to come here for ever, because this is the final scene of the film, falling down with Michael Douglas, where he dies at the end of this pier. She's
I blew like yeah. yeah. It's a bit with a few beers in it. Big, 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 big empty cups. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no one is not, there's no cans in my house. No, so I'm bottle now. I'm liking it. What's <laughs> up? Where is he? Where is he? sign for you where it's the Pacific Coast Highway. It's a bit cloudy, we're going to try and come back on a better day. But we're going to drive the, the coast down to Malibu. Some of, some of the maybe some of the locations up here, some of the bars and stuff. It should be uh, should be quite interesting.
Castello. That's, that's unusual. It's John Wayne. It looks like it, yeah. See how small his food is? Yo, what is this? Tell me what you need. So there's Arnie's. There, Ron Howard. Over here we've got Bruce Willis. Peter Sellers, Dean Martin, it just goes on and on and on, it's incredible.
this is to the left hand side of the uh, the Korax theatre. It's still got like sort of some form of a Egyptian theme at the top. Um, yeah, it looks like it. See what we can see what we can muster. What's it say on the floor? You've got to come to Hollywood, they said. Movie and the biggest business in the world. Safety raises is first. Palm blast is second. The movie third. So I could be a bad boy. Of my three. Hey, but never mind. We're here and we're walking here. My bro on the steps. We'll come over here. Two performers are. Two performers are my I can do quite a lot. four floors up. Got four floors up, so. Yeah, bar area, too. This is uh, This is looking pretty, pretty nice. So here we are in this behind the Kodak theatre, which looks stunning to say the least. So we're in front of, of refreshments, I think. See that it's uh, 25 past nine, and we haven't had a beer yet. Right, then, sure. So there you go. This is what you're doing. This is what you've got. Right so there now. it is. You have a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Snow White Cafe. So we're just having a, a refreshment. That's where we are. We're having a Stella. And that's where it is. Stella. We haven't uh, got a shot of this yet, but this is our car park in location, and these are our doors that automatically open for us on cue. And that outside is a sunny Los Rodeo. Angeles. Rodeo Drive, public. Where's the drive? I mean it. Do 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 do. Hey, they mind right. Right then, see you there. So we're on Wilshire Boulevard. Jeff's driving. Check it out. He's driving in LA, man. The girls at the back. Say hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. I'm just stopping at some lights. Just next to Starbucks and Ralph's. And we're going to, as I said, Radio Drive and having a look around there. Well, yeah, I see it. A little dinosaur park over there on our right hand side. It's got some. Beats Cleveland Park. Tower Pips and Museum. Indiana Jones and Chow Trumpet. For laughing. Because I'm with your friends. Get the lights. Building with some form of a frame round. 
around it, which looks quite good. Right, so we're on we're in Beverly Hills now, which is looking a little bit richer than uh, last night. Downtown Hollywood. And the journey back. Sorry, guys. So Audi, Beverly Hill. So. Why has it got cars actually in windows? They're even in garage forecourts, they're actually in shops. Look at the lazy daisy, Catherine. Mr. Patrick, Clara McClellan's. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? We're at Rio, 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 Rio. No, this is not Rio de Rio. This is Valley Park. Park. Oh, oh, really? I'm sorry, madam, we've got nothing for you. This is not Rodeo, is it? No, it's not. it's not. So we're walking up on towards Brighton Way, which is on Jeff nearly took out some some <laughs> Jeff nearly threw out some Jeff was nearly took out Jeff was playing uh, Grand Theft Auto in down in uptown LA. So we are Brighton Way. Beverly Hills Drive. So we're coming over towards Rodeo Drive, which is where the girls are going to do some shopping. The girls are going to do some shopping. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go and have a drink in uh, Club Monaco. Uh, and then maybe buy ourselves an Audi A8 or an A9, depending on how we feel. And then we'll just drive it to the beach and leave it there. So we're on the corner of Rodeo Drive in Brighton West, sorry yeah. We're just gonna have a look up here, mooch up here in Rodeo and see what the situation's like. Yellow rolls. Oh the yellow rolls of Texas. Uh, how many, Jeff? Oh yeah, I would imagine so, yeah. So here we are, Rodeo Drive. Got some really plush stores. I don't think I've walked past so many stores that smell so nice with the doors open. They're just enticing fragrances as you're walking in. But it's sort of La Ralph Laurel. Oh, sorry, Ralph Lauren. Coming up. It's the girls there, window shopping. Nothing's got prices on the window. It wouldn't have, would it? So here we are. I'm going to spin left on right on side now. The guys are just passing the rails. Going to pop in for a beer with him, but he wasn't in. It's ridiculously warm today. I just thought I'd do a 360 so you can see what it's like and remember it. Gucci store has got gold frame right to the top and it is just sparkling. It's just, it's just really, really well kept up. And then we've got Prada, which is this shop here. And without the sign there, it just looks like Argos. Nothing's got prices on at all. We've got Sued, IW, we've got Zenga. We've got so many different brands on this road, it's just obscene. Valentino's over the road. It's, uh, 
There's a Dolce Gabbana across the road over there. And we're just walking down now. The building at the very end is the Beverly Hills Wilshire. Oh, sorry, it's the... Yeah, it's the... Yeah, it is that. Right, okay. There's Pam, just window shopping. So we got the Sashi up there. The Stefano Ricci. And down there is the W Hills Wilshire. Louis Vuitton. A very affluent area, to the least. Hey, we're walking here. Jimmy's shoes over the road. Tiffany and Company on the corner of Beverly Wilshire Boulevard. That's the Sashi shops up here. Um, this is past, there's a Coca Cola one, not even Christmas yet. It's gonna come up here. There's one that's eating up here. So we're on this road now, Crescent High and 6th Street, which is heavily uh, populated with lovely, lovely houses that are obviously a fortune. And uh, yeah, we're just driving back. We're gonna go to a, somewhere to have a beer. Um, not too sure what it's called. Cafe Verona. Cafe Verona, I think it's called. Mute everyone else in the background, you didn't hear that. It's Cafe Verona, I know exactly where I am. Um, so I feel like I'm on board the yellow. Okay, thank you. Can I give you a little appetizer? I'm in the appetizer on it just in case you want to add something for. Thank you. So, do you want to. 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 just feels like we're somewhere remote, just with the, the actual beauty of this place. What a really nice place it is. It just really is nice. Yeah. 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 It's like mainstream, yeah. deadly old spot. Great little fire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At least we're going through the doors now. That's just Main Street. Main Street Manor. Not Manor, I'm 
sorry, no. <laughs> We're going New York. So there. Uh, 901, traffic for on. Uh oh. Someone's been a bad boy. So this is a nice little place called Calendars. A little bit different to Calendar in Scotland. But it's got booths and stuff, which is really nice and uh, yeah, it's got a nice, nice vibe to it. So we'll go up there now, just get seated. So we're in Calendars. And it's something we haven't noticed, but it's next to uh, the shelf or whatever it's called. So it's nice, looks like a nice little place. Again, I'm sat in a different position because happy hours downstairs here on this level. So we're sat in one of these really little sort of quaint glass boots, which that right next to the bar, my goodness, there. Are you down there? Okay, so we've left that place just to go on some boards. Just going to a place now. Have a bit of a beer. It's called Bur Tom Bergen's Steak Chops. And it's a bit of a weird pub really because it looks like like a, a little train or something. But uh, let's go inside so we'll see what we think, shall we? Hello right, guys. Well, we're in um so all the video footage is in the foot or in the car. <laughs> So we're just in here, we've got the bar, we've got the pub, we've got the bar. Nice, nice little setup. Good luck to the little bowl in the bar, which is pretty good. Check it out. Remarkable little place. Just caught this. Little picture there. Beautiful. Hello. Hi. Day 18 on the Big Brother holiday. We've yet again fall into another bar <laughs> without even realising it. And this time there's a to 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 karaoke on. And Tony is dying there, like, get on there. <laughs> I mean, I've got some honey and water here, the whole way. Just do a little bit of voice. I don't feel it, but I'm a great job. Oh, no, I want it. <laughs> so, where are we in again? The little pub or the little the bar? The little bar. The little bar. And we've run out of money. There's a full sound system on the back end there. And, uh, and there's five people in. And a mic stand. And a mic stand for uh, a mic stand for uh, Jimmy Cranky by the sound of it. There's about five people in the bar. Well no, that's good. You clear with nose. What? You clear with your nose? Uh, no, that, that would be eight pounds or nine, wouldn't it? Okay, next time I turn this on, we'll either be in Universal or you'll be on the stage, one or the other. Oh, we, oh, we might be uh, kicking. You'll have to be on the stage. Oh, we're going to kick the fuck out with you. Sorry. Oh, we're not in New York, we can't do fresh on New York, so can we? What I'm seeing at the moment is Pam shaking her head rapidly at me going, no, shut it down. It is. No I'm sorry. Let me apologise. I apologise profusely. The BBC would like to retract that absolute disgraceful remark from me. Shut it down now.
Okay, so we're uh, we're on the road again, and we're now heading towards Universal Studios, LA. Six miles. So you get it before you fill up, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah about the same. So we're up towards Hollywood now, and the billboards are there just with all the latest stuff that's come out. And one for the moment is the rework of Westworld, which hasn't come out yet. It's only going to be a major hit or a major flaw. Okay. I'll give me bets. I really love that open trust. Sunset Boulevard, son. Sunset Boulevard. Power the future of rock and roll. Well, that looks like Hollywood Road, isn't it? Yeah, Hollywood Road. Yeah. Stone building. As soon as yeah. you clear that, it's off to you. It's on the hill on the right. On the right, yeah, I thought it would be. Oh, he's been took by him. to our right hand side. Four hundred yards, turn right, then turn left. Universal City ahead. This is City Walk, um, which has got some restaurants. Um, with, with the top. And with no and there's the there's the big two fountain, the one that was used to play in and stuff. And there's Tony Romero's and Johnny Rocks. <laughs> and then we'll move away over here. We've got a Mexican area. Come in here, got a bit of a music in the background, a bit of a good vibe. Yes, yeah, a beautiful day as well. It's very, very hot. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So we haven't got in yet. We've just gone through bag security, which is like airport security, I suppose. They have to be very, very safe. But we're here at Universal Pam. Come here first. That's a text I'm doing there. Can't wait to go in. There's the new. Jeff and Deb. So we're in, we're in the park already now. Brilliant, and it's all starting with Woody Woodpecker. And we've got the first time in this studio, in this studio, which is it's very exciting. Brilliant. Can't wait to get started. It's going to be amazing. Over there, we've got. Uh, Sam 
Trek 4D. This is a, a sort of studio, sort of walk-in area first. It's got a really good vibe. I'll let you have a listen. incredible 3D but 4D because you've got the movement and uh, sound and water as well so it was very very good so we're just going to wander around here and see what's next yep let's do this so we're just leaving Harry Potter now
to go on to the studio tour. We've just come out of The uh, Walking Dead, which was very scary. So we've come out of this now. There's no wait. It's literally just a walk straight in and film the, love, the lot, which is all of the different scenes. And as you can see down there, if you look very, very carefully, you've got the Back to the Future lot down the bottom there which we're probably going to go and see and pass I would imagine if I just stop here for a second that could be it you drop something valuable. Pull the cord if you have a medical emergency and pull the cord if the audio or visual equipment malfunction. There are areas of the tour where I cannot help you because dinosaurs, but I will try if it is safe enough for me to leave my seat. Let's watch a classic film. The room ready for you and Mrs. Barrington. Thank you. Did you hear that? Mrs. Barrington. Not quite, darling, but sure. Very nice. Hello. Yes? Every bottle of champagne sent to the window once. Make sure that we are not disturbed for any reason. Just kidding. That was not a classic movie. It was a Jimmy Fallon fake out. He is showing you how we can create absolutely anything inside our sound stages, the giant buildings here on the front lot. To your left, that is stage 12, and it's pretty obvious what film's there. Hi, hey everybody. I'm Carson Daly from NBC's The Voice. I want to welcome you to the Universal Front Lot. Our show is filmed on stage 12. It happens to be the largest sound stage on the Universal Lot. Take a look. Take a look to your left and behind you. Once again, that is where The Voice films our hit singing competition. The new season debuted last night. Last night on NBC. That new season features two new judges. Miley Cyrus and Alicia Keys have joined The Boys. Up on your monitors, these are movies that use the same building. Remotely important, take their picture, figure out who they are later. 
To your left, stages 24 and 25 are home to Colony, a show on USA, starring Sarah Wayne Cayleys, who was Laurie on Walking Dead, and Dr. Chan Freddy on Prison Break. Her TV show husband on Colony is played by Josh Holloway from Lost. New episodes of Colony will be in the new year on USA. Also to your left, look inside of stages 22 and 23. They're not often open, so this is a great opportunity to pick uh, to take a look inside there. That is where Superstore films. They're not in Wisconsin, and they're not even in a store. They film in stages 22 and 23. Superstore has its new episode, a new season rather, premiering this Thursday, September 22nd on NBC, starring America Ferrera from Ugly Betty. Don't have lines, but they're there to help create the environment. Again, the Mindy Project, sorry, Mindy Kaling films in stages 27 and 41. Mindy Kaling writes, directs, produces, and stars. She is amazing. Hi everybody, I'm Mindy, and welcome to the World Stages. We'll be Hairspray Live, NBC's next live musical, based on the toe-tapping, high-energy, Tony Award-winning Broadway show, Hairspray. Our live version, coming in December, has a ridiculously amazing cast. I'm talking Kristen Chenoweth, Jennifer Hudson, Ariana Grande, Sean Hayes, Martin Short, Rosie O'Donnell, and introducing a newcomer, Maddie Baleo, beat out a thousand other girls to the Minty Project and Brooklyn Nine-Nine are using our New York or Metropolitan looking sets down there. They've also been seen in Spider-Man 2, Amazing Spider-Man, Captain America First Avenger, and Transformers. We have digital composites of all of those sets, meaning it's very easy to add special effects and CGI. Here's a director that knows a lot about CGI. It's Peter Jackson taking you back to Skull Island. It's the original King Kong that, that literally does that. I mean, you're on board the ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you're encountering monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. Adventure is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Please secure your loose items, remain seated, and welcome to Skull Island. wood painted to look like metal. <laughs> yeah. If we're going to flip them all over and light them on fire, they're probably fake. In Jurassic World, that gyrosphere had a dome. Dinosaurs, vehicles, props, and dinosaurs from the first three Jurassic Park movies, including the mobile lab unit dangling off a cliff up here on your screens.
Everybody. Why, why did you jump and scream? I told you there were dinosaurs. I said it three times. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Those are totally real dinosaurs hiding behind fake trees. All right, car one's doing okay. Hi, car two. Hi, car three. Hello. I'm a real girl. I'm, I'm right here by Tracy. Uh, some people think the whole thing's a video. That's just silly. And car number four, I know that's where the party people are. What, what? That's why we bring you to old Mexico. Let's get a pina colada and get caught in the rain. Yeah, I'm not just quoting song lyrics. Look at this. It looks pretty wet. Let's see what Al Roker has to say. Hi, everybody. Here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry in Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy and little bit. Six Points School and Sleep on New York Street. And we've got a high chance of... Flash flood warning, absolutely not. We're going to cut the news feed. Folks, this is Movie Rain, brought to you by Sunshine. Yay. It's a sprinkler system. Uh, we shoot the water into the air, making the droplets really big, and then we shine some light on them. Right now, the sun is giving you a similar effect. Now, this area is indeed called Old Mexico. It's been seen in Nacho Libre with Jack Black. The Three Amigos did their flashback scenes just up ahead. And also, for my monsters, Lady Gaga did a music video right here. The song was called Judas. Everybody look out. And now look on your screens. Here's that flood in the movie Big Fat Liar. a lot of props. These decorations are called props, and they were here for Criminal Minds Beyond Borders with Gary Sinise. They were filming here the past couple days. They filmed here before as well and used our little Europe sets. So if you would have been here yesterday and the day before, the tram wouldn't have been able to drive through there because they were filming. The route we take is always a little bit different. Today, we are allowed to drive this way and take you into Six Points, Texas, y'all. Yeehaw! are trotting on. Our road today is pavement. It's the job of the decorators to come in and add the dirt and the tumbleweeds and the wagons to make it look realistic. But look to your left. That's not a real building. It's just the front and the side. That is called a facade. We only need to build what the camera sees. When it's decorated, it looks fantastic. These sets were used as Australia in the Disney movie Saving Mr. Banks a few years ago. Great film. Now as we proceed forward, I'm going to go into that quiet zone that I mentioned. They're making the TV talk show Home and Family just around the next corner. You are going to get a quick glimpse at an area called Little Europe. I'm going to play you some silent movies up here on the screens.
I hope you noticed them filming behind the wooden fence back there. Once again, they were filming a TV talk show called Home and Family. We're now inside of stage 50. Above our head, they have it decorated like a Chinatown street scene. This is a two-level sound stage. This level is a subway platform. Seen on the Fox show Bones up here on your monitors. agreed to take us somewhere a lot more peaceful than the beach. Don't mind the great life man-eating shark. They caught it. It's hanging at the hotel. This looks very dangerous. Remain seated. Don't worry about him. That's nothing a little Beverly Hills plastic surgery can't fix. All right, we're going to hide ourselves behind the flammable gasoline tanks. Studio tour, but during the making of the film, he was.
was an awful Hollywood diva. Here's Steven Spielberg to explain. That's a much maligned shark. The shark was frustrated. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio mics. They were always saying, the shark is not working. Repeat, the shark is not working. We just waited around. We just waited and waited and waited. The shark worked well enough for a while there and the things full time. So I really owe the shark a lot. Well, of course the shark didn't work. They filmed on location in the Atlantic Ocean near Martha's Vineyard. The shark sunk to the bottom on the very first day of filming because mechanical animals do not like salt water. What did film down there to your left were 12 successful seasons of my grandma's favorite show, Carter, she wrote. fun, but we've got video surveillance on that charger you all saw. We ran it through the system, and the driver has been positively identified as Dominic Toretto. I've been tracking this guy for a while. He's a hardened criminal. He's likely armed, and he's definitely dangerous. for Halloween Horror Nights. Horror Nights is an event that we have here in the fall. All of this is a maze or a haunted house that you walk through. Year round though, the Who's have a pretty awful neighbor. We're passing the Bates Motel and up on the hillside, the Psycho House from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. So we're good. We love you. Thanks for thanks for coming out to say hi. No, no. Put the knife away, Norman. Put the knife away. We're, we're not the drunk teenagers. Oh boy. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, he's just he's angry because his backyard is such a mess. Look at this. This is the set from War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds was first a book and then a radio broadcast. In 2005, Paramount remade the movie starring Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. That's a real airplane. What? Crazy. That is an actual 747 destroyed for the film. You can stand up to get some photos if you want to. 30 seconds, you may stand. The airplane the crash site set is a perfect example of the part of the set that is all designed around the vision that Stephen Again, to sit down and talk about the world. Well, that thought, what if the 7.7 goes down right in a good neighborhood? Because it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. 
Robbie, get in. Get in. Robbie, get in. The rest of you sit down. <laughs> About two months ago, Judd Apatow was out here with his Netflix original show, Love, doing some filming. Nicki Minaj and Rihanna made a music video on this location for a song called Fly. As we leave over to your right hand side, there's a large blue screen. Beyonce made the formation music video there when she's dancing on top of the police car that's floating in the water. That screen uh, can be built on top of, it can be a lake, it can be a desert. Take a look up here on your monitors. Whether it's painted blue or green, they can digitally implement alternate backgrounds. That's called CGI, as I've mentioned previously, computer-generated imagery. We get a lot of extremely high-profile productions out here. It is one of the largest backdrops in all of Hollywood. A year ago, there were airplane parts floating in front of the screen. We weren't allowed to tell you that that was for Sully in theaters now. Sully is directed by Clint Eastwood, starring Tom Hanks in the role of Captain Sullenberger, who landed the airplane in the Hudson River. He is the captain now. Hangover 2 filmed out here. Hunger Games 3 and Pirates of the Caribbean number 4. So basically, if you're making a sequel, you want to come out here to us. Look, and This might be more serious than oh, I thought. Oh, wait a minute. Not this what guy just again. This is a secure lock. No, it's not. It's a tour. I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. And I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. And as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. Hey, language. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. One, there's a high-value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. And two, an international crime syndicate led by Owen Shaw is honing in on this vehicle to take that witness out. Shaw's as ruthless as they come, and he'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target. Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Other than that, enjoy the ride. This is not your jurisdiction. It is now, stink pickle. I'm so tired of you steak guys stepping in just whenever you, you feel like Mute him. Don't you? You got it, boss. I don't like his hair. His name is Roman Pierce. Nice to meet you. Buddy Hobbs acts as a stash. Show him for a while. I brought you in our secret spot. Having a few friends over, it's a little messy. It's all good. The more the merrier. Especially you right there in the third row. Never said. So look, see over there? It's Hobbs Urban Assault Vehicle. Best truck the U.S. government can buy. That work of art back over there was made by my man Ted. Think of it as like a Mona Lisa on the wheels. So did you bring it down to the book? What's that? Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. 
Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in the middle of the night. You see what I'm talking about? Call you back. Aaron. It was on vibrate. I'm sure I'll trace this. I just can't hold him forever. Levy, Roman, we're up. <laughs> Trying to move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. My Mona Lisa's all warmed up right next door. glasses to protect your eyes. Sure, that'll work. Put on those 3D glasses, remain seated, and hold on tight.
Light in the darkest shadows. Get your weapons ready. Prep the missiles for launch. Get the diamond sword from Minecraft.
woods. <laughs> that guy's got my golf ball. No, it's okay. We may actually need these people here. In fact, this move. Am I right, people? Somebody shut you whoa, up. Whoa. Hey, hey, calm down. Let's talk about this. Hey, wait. Take that! And you, you don't tell me to shut up. You hear me? Ever! Hey! Yeah. All right, come on. Ow, ow, ow. Shut up. Uh, oh yeah. Desolate children, you poor lost souls on this big floating piece of sheet metal. The provider has spoken. He tells me personally that someone around here knows the way to dry land. Dry land! Yes, my flock, dry land. You're gonna pay it and drive it, tax it and tithe it. Sweet to a boat, we're gonna use it, cruise it, fill it, drill it, and build an 18 old golf course for my beloved self. Is that a fine dry land, Deacon? I won't let you in, neither will the mariner. The mariner! Chuck, close the gates. The mariner! You half man, half fish boyfriend who poked out my eyes.
fish boy. He's not your kind. He doesn't have a kind. Let's belay the flounder. Oh, I like this game. Chuck, we have a runner. for dry land, your next mutated freak. I need a weapon. Hey, somebody go find me a weapon.
and so the deacon's threat has ended. The civilization may start anew on the dry land, while the mariner rules the four points of the compass on the endless seas of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Waterworld. Okay, so fresh new day. We're uh, we've come up to the observatory, and we're just walking up here. It's delightfully warm. Delightfully. It's around about 12:15, and we've just parked the car just down the bank, down the hill. Um, and we're walking up the hill now, um, which is a bit of an incline. However, the view is going to be worth it. And there's the sign, there it is. And that's what it's about there, like. Just near the uh, observatory. We've got a good, good little perspective here. It's brilliant. Oh, yeah, that's what I look like. Observatory. We're going to go to Griffin Park next week. So this is the sort of roof. This is the highest vantage point, I suppose. I suppose you can get higher, but this is the, without having to climb on rubble and stuff. Um, to get the view of the other ones. Photograph taken with Deb. <laughs> it's going to take one of me and Pam. <laughs> so here we are, we're just walking around the top of the observatory. The views are Yeah, it is. 
square over that way, haven't we? Well, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I reckon is the strip, the Hollywood strip over this way. Yeah. Some nice houses, isn't it? I'm going to zoom in on one. It's just down there. It looks like it's just been built on the hill. So we're inside the observatory. This is corner. And then we're just gonna go into the main room. So we're just going down from the second level. There's two levels down here. Just been in the observatory, a very interesting place. Thoroughly enjoyed that. We had a little scoot around the gift shop, Toe was in his element. He's bought himself a little Newton's cradle. <laughs> and we've got the little fellow a couple of things. Some glow, glow in the dark stars and um, a little toy rocket, space rocket. We're back outside and it's absolutely boiling. Amazing day. So I think we're now going to go to um, the other park for our chill out and picnic. You enjoy that guys? Thanks for this. Okay, Duffy. Okay. You carry on, Jeffers. That's yeah, travelling, isn't it, that Jeff? Yeah. I've only got your back to. Huh? He's doing a 360. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we're just at uh, Griffith Park. We're going to oh, pack. Griffith Park. Griffith is what they said up there? No, it's Lake. It's uh, Hollywood Lake. 
And that's the Hollywood sign. Can get up there because there's no traffic goes through to it. But nevertheless, it's still a great sight, isn't it? for Hollywood. So there's the girls down there going into the park because there's some tables under the under a lovely set of swal uh, what are those? Uh, swallow trees is it? Gulp. Gulp or swallow or either. Either them ones. Um, we've locked the car up. There's my bro going down the hill. We're at Lake Hollywood Park. You're not Griffith Park. Oh. People are walking the dogs. There's dog little Dalmatian there, which is nice. Under the sign. I'm gonna pop in here now and just take in a few of the rays and some of the beauty uh, some of the beauty locations thanks again. And there we have it. So there's some people just above the H on the Hollywood sign. It's a big American flag up there, and they're looking I can down. See them moving. Well, just it's above quite the hot up there. You can see it. You must be able to walk up there then. H O L L Y W double O D. Having said that, you're not going to be able to take a great photo up there, are you? No. Of the sign. You've got all nope. the workings of the American yeah. Yeah. So here we are on Santa Monica Pier again, only this time it's sunshine and it looks amazing. Can you spell it down? Everyone's sort of been on the beach all day by the look of it. So we just parked up here behind the car parking area. Just in the rain, we're actually going to go down to a, a little bar. Just on the beach, just to see what's going on. But uh, yeah, we'll see it then.
We're going to go in this little place, Dean's Ocean Fun Cafe. So we're, we're sat in Dean's place. Big Dean. Big Dean. And uh, Dev's at the bar, is she? Yeah. Yeah. So we're just sat, I'm sat in the sun. We're sat in the shade. Which we've, uh, we've had quite a bit today. I think it's because I don't drive a lot. I've got some. I really like it. Oh, do you like that? It was nice. It was totally different to everything I've had. Yeah, but I've enjoyed my tacos and I've enjoyed them. I'm going to start to experiment on my food. What's your bestest meal? Right, so we're here. You get it fixed up, girls. You get it fixed up. <laughs> yeah. you, put, you put her arm out when the taxi stopped and she's gone, come on guys, look at this. <laughs> oh, she's just a, she's just an ad fab moment. So we're here now. I don't know why Jeff's got. I think he's gone to pick that bloke up. <laughs> Mickey Rock look alike. Oh, oh no, he's no. here. There he is. She's just there again. So here we're here now. <laughs> So we're going to come over here, the sun's setting over uh, California for the, for the last time, we'll not see that. People are just randomly shouting, just randomly shouting, randomly shouting stuff. Yep, hit the supporter. Yep, you've seen them all haven't you? Yep, that's a lovely shot that I'm going to get that on me for. So someone's coming in now, the girls are oblivious, completely oblivious to Jeez. So let them over. People are just driving on a wood. We're on pier now is bubble gum shrimps. Going there, eat two pound a burger. Each be a 75 pound. Uh, we know well. So we don't know what we're doing now, we're just studying now. So here we are, Monica Pier. Not Monica Pier, Santa Monica Pier. Sun's going down. Everyone's amazingly chilled out. Bit of music. So we've got the pleasure of coming down Santa Monica Pier. We've just been fed and watered. It's uh, Big Dean's, which is fabulous. We've got the sun setting. It's a fantastic end to a fantastic holiday. Quite emotional, really. That uh, we're not going to be spending any more time out of our suitcases apart from happening tonight and it's been on, on reflection just a fabulous fabulous time you know great great times I mean can't comprehend exactly just exactly how much we've done but the video itself will be around about seven or eight hours which is phenomenal lots and lots so 
so we come down again and we start the busking and so on, which is uh, traditional. It's all marked by the stars on the actual pier itself. And the pier itself is just very deteriorated. That's the vision. That's the vision there, like. to go on it. She didn't dare go on it. Please didn't dare go on it. Hey, I'll on the mummy. Can't go on anything now. You'll be on your mummy or you'll be in there now. Right then, so. Yeah, Should be the end of the video. <laughs> I'll be back with that. Get away. Don't stamp with them, please. Who's in them? Who's in them? Who's in Yeah, that's a cuff. That's a wrap. <laughs> so here we are at uh, Venice Beach. We've come here. This is our final day. And while we this afternoon at about half past six we thought we'd spend the day here and uh, the marina just to uh, marina del rey just to see exactly what the fuss is all about dip me toe in the pacific ocean one of my bucket list things to do but it looks very very nice there's a nice front here 
full of bars and and stuff and to strut our stuff on. Pretty nice. I'm doing a constant shot because I want you to, to remember the ambience. And the bike up and down the promenade. Let me just walk on the beach now. This looks good. <laughs> This is Venice Beach. There's a pier there. No, no. So we're walking towards the beach. Now I'm going to dip my feet in the Pacific Ocean. One of those things I've wanted to do for some time. And let's just see uh, if it feels different to where. Uh, So this is the beach area. This looks brilliant. Feel the surfing. The roar of the sea is just amazing. It's beautiful. It's a really, really nice beach. It's to a 360. This looks incredible. There's my bro.
so here we are. In Venice. Howdy doody. You're such a good mover. So we're walking down Venice Beach, where you've done about a tenth of it so far. And if we take it right down to the bottom end, we've been informed it will take us to Santa Monica Pier, which we don't want to go to. Do we? What do we? Walking we ain't walking that way. It must be about 20 miles, maybe. It's an incredible, uh, incredible piece of uh, road. It's got every walk of life on it. Just it's incredible good shampoo. So we're at the fig tree. It's our last beer. Well, last place to be. We're on, as you know, Venice Beach. We're just having a refreshment. It's just gone at three minutes past twelve, so we're allowed. Uh, we're just, we've just got on Wi-Fi, so um, we're just in the process of catching up and posting. Um, and then we'll be uh, having a good drink. Right, okay. Uh, currently sat with the girls who were looking very brown. Um, and the smell from this restaurant is amazing. Okay, dogs. And um, yeah, that's for now. We're just admiring this dog. It's absolutely class. He's massive. It looks like a great day with a um, cross between a great day and a, a Dalmatian. Down Maybe we don't want to see that. Is he, is he or isn't he? He's looking like a lovely dog. I've been told I really have to slow down. As if I was fast anyway, really. What are you, bro? What's up? What are we doing? No, I've got what's happening here, what's going on, I've got a patch. We're on Venice Beach. Yeah, kicking it back. Along with you. Night. Yeah, you were actually here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You just had your. Was it the firewall? Yeah. Was it before the firewall? Yeah. It was. It was when you couldn't get your word in. Oh really? I, I, I narrowed that down to about what? Ooh, it's, about, it's about all the time, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it was when you, you couldn't understand your question. You're that all the time as well. Oh, oh. Sure you No education. But then we piled on you. Totally black, oh totally black life. Then we piled on you next time. Oh, maybe you piled on me, maybe you brought me back. Then we piled yeah. I was, it I was felt just, like... I'd give you a, a couple of kidney yeah. jabs. It maybe. felt like Rebecca Lawler was piling on me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't say it was that bad. Yeah. Don't use that video. Really Hashtag Fogo Wild, avoid that one. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. We're only drinking here because of your habit, you know. So we're only drinking here because of your habit. <laughs> Is that right? We're disguising your AA. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, always on the alcohol. Always on the alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right. So we'll we'll, we'll end this now. The nice shot of Venice Beach. There you go. Come here.
last page now. It's been a while with this, which was real nice. So we're just going to pop down here. Del Rey, which is a little sort of marina, as you can see. Yep, lots of marina, lots of boats and stuff. And we're coming to Tony P's Dockside Grill, and um, we're going to pop in here for um, a beer or a coffee or whatever we're having, um, just to kill a bit of time. It's half past three. It's a lovely, lovely day. It's got a lovely breeze, which is a bit welcoming compared to what we've had recently. So we're on, we're on 4445, Marina Del Rey. So in 20 G's. 20 P's? 20 P's, sorry, 20 P's. Just having a beer on here. It's got some really good decor. Dodgers fans, big Dodgers fans. <laughs> the holiday I've lost my Kindle and it's cover. I've lost one mascara and I've no idea where my glasses came from. But apart from that, it's all good. You've lost your glasses case as well? Uh, uh, it's a wonder we've uh -huh, still got uh -huh. Anything else? Uh -huh. uh, no, like I said, I thought I, had, I thought I couldn't find Toe's Kindle case. However, I've got it, so don't worry. I've got it all in time. <laughs> It's all good. It's okay because I found it. It was only in the lounge. I found it with your bird. You tell tale. You tell tale, you <laughs> tell tale. <-tale. laughs> <Tell -tale. laughs> <laughs> See you later. See you later. Hello. Well, we're in LAX. We've been here for a couple of hours now. Can I just get the check, please? Sure. Thank you. And we're just chilling out. Before our flight, it's delayed slightly. What? Slightly delayed. Right. And we're boarding at half past, well, 20 past nine at our FDAs. So, and it's now. Oh, shoot. Oh, sorry. Ah.